Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 45 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Welcome back everybody, it's day four of video blogging week and the theme again this year is things dangerous. Um, on Monday I shared with you my opinion about the meaning of the word danger in that I think of things dangerous only if they're truly life-threatening. That eliminates a whole class of other experiences in life that have the feeling of being dangerous but really are not. And then on Tuesday, I experimented with uh, breaking a few rules, which sometimes feels a little bit dangerous. And I noticed that it's much easier for me to do things that feel dangerous or break the rules if I'm doing it for another person, or like for you, my viewers, or if I'm doing it you know, for a cause of some sort, where it's not really about me, it's about something outside of me, then it's much easier to kind of plow through it. Yesterday, Wednesday, day three, I noticed that by doing things on the edge, by breaking the rules, by pushing things, pushing myself into situations that feel a little bit dangerous, that I actually have the ability, or I, I gain in my self-confidence. And sometimes even if I don't gain in my self-confidence, I certainly gain in my self-awareness. I learn what is comfortable and what truly is way outside my comfort zone. and. I don't want to do that again. So today, I was thinking in the car on the way here to the beautiful sunny beach that um, things are kind of turning themselves upside down, you know, in so many ways. And the internet really has a role to play in that. One of the ways that it's going upside down is that things that used to be used to feel dangerous and, in fact, used to be life-threatening, no longer are. And in that class of events, I think of people who break secrets and who pull the veil, you know, pull the curtain on things that um, other people haven't wanted us to know. I mean, today, Libby, the president's, uh, vice president's aide, you know, who has been indicted, he's basically saying that the president authorized him to leak confidential information. I think that's rather dramatic news in and of itself, but I think that, you know, 10 or 20 years ago, if someone like that had blamed the President of the United States for something that serious, he, he wouldn't make it. There'd be a way that people might consider actually taking him out. On the flip side of that, things that didn't used to be dangerous or life-threatening now are. Uh, locally here, we have a man in the hospital in Honolulu who fell into the Alawai Harbor downtown uh, over the weekend and he has contracted so many bacterial infections that they've amputated already one leg and may have to amputate other body parts and he may very well not survive and that's simply because of human pollution so it's just an interesting day for me thinking about um, you know how how life is shifting and how knowledge truly is power and that with the internet and so many more people having access to information and to knowledge we're really changing that power structure unfortunately we're also polluting the planet um, our water here is still not safe for swimming and I've been on the phone for several hours today trying to get the actual numbers as to what the levels of pollution are so I know if it's you know a hundred times bad or a thousand times bad or ten times bad maybe by tomorrow I'll have that information but at the end of the day I don't let it bother me because I really and truly believe that we're all safe and that uh, this too is like a movie that when the movies over the lights will come on and everything will be fine but uh, certainly have no idea how it's all going to play out so thanks for joining me and Lexi today. I'm going to go do a little playing with her. If you'd like to Skype me, you can Skype at Roxanne Darling. Or if you'd like to leave a voice comment, the number is 949-544-1456.
Aloha and Malamopono, which means take care.